All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Saw Game Saga. It's now episode 67, which now this series is about as long as the previous series, Chola. So now we now I consider that the series has gone on for too long, to me. But it can only happen if China could get their act together, which I've said this many times. Um, until, you know, that civil war is over. But until then, I need something from you. Get me another strategist. You know, for war preparations. You know, we have Chinese commanders teaching our commanders some of their tactics. So that way we can fight that bear game next time. Just to remind ourselves. While, well, meanwhile. I'm starting to antagonize Karus because, damn it, man, you ain't worth a damn. You have not impregnated your wife after all these years of marriages. Even you were betrothed, and I'm sure you were a loving couple in which you failed to produce children, and none like you, the rest of your brothers, which they were able to have children because, you know, they know how human nature works. I don't know what's going on with you two. But damn it, man. That's why I'm taking that out on you, Karus. Not because of the lack of children. I mean, your skills are good, but the other one, well, he can continue on this soggy and golden age of sorts. Because, you know, he's got excellent membership of Now Now he's at good age. Grandson is still a student in the academy. I'm sure he lost something. I'm sure of it. <laughs> and also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, where we left off in the previous episode, we now control Athens. All we need is at least one more part of Greece, and, um, food poisoning. Let's find two. Oh, yes. The Kurdish. I forgot, these are Kurdish children. But, we're teaching them to be Sogdian. Too late for the heritage to be considered. So, all we need in the future is one more, um, war for Achaia to create Greece, and also, Chinese Civil War is over. Um, warlike Thomas the Monk from Chengdu. Uh, emerge victorious, now rules as emperor. Uh, Zhuan Gaozu, Zhuan Yang Gaozu, man of the people, of the emperor has cleaned out the corrupt bureaucrats of the old regime, and things are slowly returning to normal in the Middle Kingdom, and the Silk Road is safe again. Curses, there goes my peace deal with China. How don't we beat them to it first? We can invade them if we want to. I mean, it's stable. But, hypothetical. Gee, that's all we have? Well, the best candidate is the bastard grandson of mine, which he ain't worth a damn, but, hey, <laughs> this bastard could run China for us, but... Well, plans change, pal. We need a uh, transfer. We're gonna be transferred back to Coltan. Get ready for war. This is our opportunity. We can't miss it. It's 5,000 there. But the 10,000 will be coming soon. Also, get back over here. Station yourselves in Loch Noor. Even if it's not the best supply place in the world. Building keep. 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 Needs a little more. This one's looted because of raiders, because the Cotonese, Tokarians, failed to catch up. As I said, this is our opportunity. 
attack them before they attack us. You're the man who can get things moving fast. So just speed them up. Ride like the wind. Station yourself in uni. Once you're in position, declare invasion. Yes, plans change. We're going forward with this. Not to mention I'm near the end of my life. One would think, because I'm in my 60s. More box of gems. Oh, and be sure to sell the gems if you want to make more money. Oh, Silver Moon has more, okay. Don't have any missions in me, do I? Send a caravan. Didn't I already send one? Well, you can always check your treasury if there is an unused caravan, then send it. Hmm. I'll get it ready then. No, 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 not like that. Prepare, not buy. What's the matter with you? Mercenaries this time because we're gonna need the levy. Damn. Okay. Let me sign another one. So I can get to look at this. Persia's got a lot of goods. But how about our favorite trading partner? What you got? Stone, linen, gold. I. Gold, gems, spices, ivory. Okay. Karashka again. Once the retinues are in position, declare war. Be sure to send shipments, because it would definitely help our troops, in a way. I ain't gonna go over there to Kaltau before the Emperor. Not again. A third visit to China would be unacceptable. If I wanted to visit China again, it would be visiting a bastard dynasty member of ours. Really happy to announce that the trade deal went well. I was able to make more profits than I expect all thanks to your teachings. You did well, but do not forget about my teaching tax. Come in, beast. There, now you're even. You got to need more money. The Maharaja of Pamilakam. Or what's left of it. But they just want to make up a tributary state. That means we'll be in conflict with those guys, but they won't contribute much. He is infirm. As my efforts getting well grow all the more determined, I sleep less and less, and sleeping is not a profitable behavior. I must have more gold. I was once greedy, but it's getting to me now. It's getting to me now. Would you look at that? 
after all these years, you finally pregnant him. You are the man now, Karush. <laughs> but at least you grew kind. I don't remember being you being kind before, I guess. You just wanted them your wife. It's like, man, after all these years. I don't know what your relationship is like. But nonetheless. I respect you now. A little. But I'm still going to antagonize you. I mean, I gotta have to make him hate me, and then I hate him more than one or the other so much that I'm gonna put a bounty on him and have the grandchild be the heir of the Persian Empire because we want someone young to rule the empire rather than my brothers. Either that or this could be another one of my ramblings as a drunk. But troops will still be on their way, and I may have to switch to a war focus soon. Very soon. Do not forget to invest in the defenses of the Fort of Lavnor. You know how important it is to me. Born normal. Name it after your mother. What are you, nuts? Well, since we're very close to the, you know, the end of this series, so I thought, well, we began with Rokshana. So let's end it with Rokshana. I know it's a very popular name amongst all Sogdians, but why the hell not? Let's have bookends with this. Man, thank you for that big pile of money. An auspicious day it is. Excellent freaking news. And you're going to have to struggle already, because I say so. And I don't want you to be raised by that crazy, you know, father of yours. Then don't be raised by no foreigner. Namesake for the daughter-in-law, only because, well, well, not. Right, it's good to have a granddaughter. But remember, your ass is mine. You got it. the Kurdish boy. Well, soft in, but raised Kurdish. Just remember, once in position, declare war. That old infirm court decision's gone. Best candidate is this one, but Let's see if we could find someone better. If not, then I guess we'll have to find one. While well, looking at a local store, I hear two merchants talk about thieves guild doing work in my domain. The bandits are beginning to accept their goods and most likely target mine too. Hire bounty hunters from the league. I'd be willing to pay big. Physician and a mystic. Old man. The herbads and mobads won't like me. Tavern is finished. Hopefully, more chances to get rid of that stress. Build road tolls. And after that, we will build a watchtower network. We're just improving it here. We didn't want to destroy it just like what we did with the Hadji Sophia. But now I could scarcely believe how a grown man like Shazada Karush has yet to develop any sort of attack. His bloodness is unbearable and needs to be openly mocked if he's ever to learn his lesson about manners. You need to know your place, boy. You're the most disgraceful Shazada. It looks like Shazada Karush is exclusively concerned. Or preventing rumors that spread around from any way jeopardizes legitimacy. 
He seems to perceive my attack more as an annoyance than a grievance all I attended. Should have used harsher wording. Well, I'm not a very intriguing man, so... Can't, you know, do what I would do. Do what you do. You hear it? See yourself? Almost connected with the North African provinces. Oh yeah, all these trees. Forgot about this thing. Oh, I forgot I just gave that county away. I didn't invest in it that much. Sorry, right, just frees up a little bit of the domain size space. But I will keep content to noble to myself. Unless I want one more piece of Thrace, and I would be running that too. To make it up for it. Focus it on here. Think, 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 think. Okay, you're still moving. Well, get ready for war, ladies and gentlemen. Because, well, we're definitely going to give them hell. I mean, uh, Protector General is still at war with the Tamil. Uh, in addition, they're also going up against the mighty Shura Empire as well. Oh, they could take on Chinese all of their own. In addition to, uh, to this one. Palava Kingdom. Telugu Palava. Kingdom of Andhra. Andhra Pradesh. If you want to be exact on geography that I'm very familiar with with the Indian subcontinent. Well... This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll finally get to invade, uh... Well... Yes, we're very strong with over 200,000 troops. And it's April, so it's definitely spring weather. While they're off to do other things. And I ain't gonna count out to the Emperor for the third time. How long have I been reigning? Since 1238. Feels like I ruled the entire century. Really, really long. Ah, sorry, I was just doing thinking in my head, and I did not want to say it out loud here. Let me take a drink. <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's do this. Well, before we do, check our commanders. Who's who? The who's who of the Army of the Persian Turani Tibetan Empire. We got a lot of organizers. It's great. Conduct the brave. Well, we got a guy who can move fast and can siege down very well. Yanayasi is our only holy warrior. I could definitely defeat him with great numbers. As I said, do we really need that many organizers? What am I missing? I mean, we do have a defender, but I need someone unyielding. I'm looking for someone unyielding, regardless of of culture and faith. Don't care if you're Catholic, pagan, African. We need talent. Unyielding, and someone young too. Problem is, you're all in your forties. 
Oh, and preferably someone not landed. Start over. And not member of the council. I think we found our man. Even though he's a heretic to the Nestorians, but... Oh, he's part of the revolt. Fast. Keep looking. Yeah, I'm yielding and brave. No. Okay. It's gonna take a lot of bribing. Either that or I would have sent him some wine to get him over. So we're so this Ninets man will be coming here. As I said, I just only need one who knows how to do unyielding. Once he comes in, start the war. Start the hostilities. Town is born. The uh, theory of Parthenion has become the center for travelers and commerce, and some people decide to settle close to the ancient construction. The latest reports mention children, dogs, and cattle. They are obviously putting down deep roots. They are welcome to stay in Athens. Really, Athens got room. Well, knowing its history, and it was once was a very, very economic place in its heyday, so why not build a city? I mean, it's cheaper for me because I'm the guild master, and city built cost modifier is lowered a bit. One city wouldn't hurt, and it'll be finished next year, and it'll be given to you. Oh, and do not forget, we're building a statue in Bosnia. A ruler statue, which one would think it's a statue of Jamshid, who is what I would describe him as, he's a very pro-Bosnian and pro-Takarian. He really loved his people, as he is the Shah of the Persian Empire, Tibet, and Turan. He is here. Welcome, Nuyanza. Nuyanza. Again, Finoralic. He's been in a fight once, but he's never killed a man. We got enough organizers and people who can get trips moving fast. He may be lower martial skills compared to the others, but he will do. And I'm sure in time, one of our Chinese strategists will teach him a bit of Chinese tactics on that end. And final tally. Oh, by the way, one question. If I start that war, well, actually, no. He's not a member of any defensive pact, so those defensive pacts from around the world are not going to come after me. No, sir. We'll be fine. Just one-on-one, -on -one, the way we like it. But remember, I may not survive this war, uh, or live to see the outcome, because I'm stressed, I'm getting old, and Karush is probably one day plotting to kill me, or doing something rather sinister. Yes, rather sinister. Here we go, this one. Okay, let's do it. No more delays. The Chu Empire is stable and prospering, even though they've been around for a short time. 
If the arrogant emperor convinced of their invincibility, I will prove them wrong. Invading China is no easy task. You will face the full might of their armies while suffering a 75% penalty for my levy reinforcement rate. Winning means placing my throne in a dynasty on the dragon throne, and if you, you will also receive vast spoils of war. If you lose your realm, uh, if, if you lose, your realm will be shattered, which means everything that you worked for will be destroyed. Why well, I like those odds. The Nine Farn is healthy. I mean, you haven't gone to the academy yourself, right? Let me get a good look at you. Um, and I find who is my grandson through, uh, which of my brothers? Ah. Yeah, your Kurdish, uh, Sogdian later Kurdish father of yours. And I can't send you to the academy because, grandchild, or you can go to it yourself. All I could say is, stick with me. Hell, I might make you, here's another way to stick with me. You're going to be its cartographer. Well, what's his name, what's his name? Nanai Farm. Nanai Farm. Nanai Farm, there you are. Yeah, you just be in a council. This is just another way of saying, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to be invited to any court. So there you have it. And away we go. This time it's the Persian invasion of the Chu Empire on the Protector General, the Western Protector. News from China. <coughs> Zhuang Yanji, Emperor Gaozu of the Chu Empire, has sit on his throne and looked down upon us for too long. Zhuang Yan Dynasty is not fit to rule, so we must tame the dragon. I have ordered a large portion of our forces east to attack the mainland of Chu, and in retaliation, the Emperor has commanded Protector General Fei of Wenguang to launch a counterattack into the lands of the Persian Empire. Thousands upon thousands of troops loyal to the Son of Heaven will march towards us. The time of the Zhuang Dynasty is coming to an end. The Middle Kingdom shall belong to House Kayani. Yes, of course. They always come over there. May Yahura Mazda be with us. Oh. Ah. Tokarians, uh... Yeah, 5,000 of them. And Tokarian army. From Otan will be stationed here. This will be reserved um, until reinforcements arrive. And of course, it's going to take a quite bit of time to get everybody over here. So, rally point to Samarkand. Well, actually, hold on. Again, like with the previous episode, the Second War, I will skip the time as I will, you know. Get the armies assembled at the appropriate, or raise the armies at the appropriate locations that is closest to the relevant front line of eastern Khotan and northern Tibet, or Xia. That's the area. Khotan and Xia front line. Okay, raised all of our troops for this and told them to move to positions. Uh, to fight to the front line and more reserves to the back that will be sent to the eastern Khotan front line but um, let me tell you this is <laughs> cannot believe it under Jam Shed this is his third war with China you think he would be sick and tired of fighting them by now well I mean after all he's stressed and after thinking about it as I was raising troops if I wanted to li live the last years of my life I mean wouldn't think of business that got me stressed in the first place just go back to theology what do you mean go back to? you go to theology slightly healthier and also gives you a chance to get rid of the gluttonous and the drunkenness but the pride thing that's a different certain circumstance so I need to be a bit more healthier I need to 
live to see through all of this. I would like to outlive this war. Once again. And then once we put a Sogdian man in the Dragon Throne. I'd be glad to visit Channel for once. Glad. Because these last two times were like, well, just going on a trip. Again. But not this time. The one who's going on the trip is China. And they're going to go on to the trip to their death. Because remember, the only way to win this war is to either capture their protector general, which he's not present at the moment, he's down there in India, or eliminate their entire armies. Which means we are up against 215,000. 43,000 of which are down in India still. Which they have not done a thing. So the Kalyani, Chalukya, and Shura Empire will indirectly assist us on their on this war. Even though they're also fighting against our vassal, so I don't know. Let's just say India is well, Shura Empire just based on its influence in the region. Shura Empire might as well be India itself. In a way. But he wouldn't proclaim himself as the Chakravati. Now. Let's get it on. As one guy I know would say. Alright. Who are most effective defenders? You will be there. I will be in this army. So will the Tokarian. This is your boy. Razak so. Gurida. Who else? Ardavan, who I guess will be there. And the Shal of Syria. These are the best commanders we have. I guess. Wait, we could look for some more, but everybody's an organizer these days. I didn't give them the, that trade. I don't have that. Yeah, I did not want to switch my war focus. I just want to live to see through this. But remember, you got backup. And there'll be more backup coming. So, as we say again, let's get on! As Judge Mills Lane would say. I will dedicate more time reading the scriptures as we wait for the Chinese troops, uh, you know, <laughs> letting to it. While I doubt Zoroaster and said anything in the Gothas regarding about, well, war and just war and all that. I, I don't think he would like that. But circumstances mandated it. Don Kong's defenses will slow him down. Got more backup if need be. Remember, they can occupy all the territory they want, but they need to win a major battle for us to lose an empire. In the past few months, I've been spending many nights reading the Gathas. The text contains many items of wisdom and also gives hints to the most important mysteries of Zoroaster. Ah, uh, yes. O Asha, give me Vohumana, because there's a terrible battle that'll be coming, and, well, a lot of us are gonna die. And there's F all you and I can do about it. <laughs> Who's you? But anyways, actually there is something we can enhance it a little. Alright, head to there. There's good supply up here. 
Reminds me. Open up the alcohol bottles. That's for global winter supply. And, uh, up the morale of our troops. Let me see. Yes, global supply limit will do. Wait a minute, heights. Okay, that's where levy size is. Okay. Why does it say Siege of Lavnor? What are we sieging? Oh, no, 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 wait. This is related to this. No, you idiots. It's too bad I can't tell you to make peace. The boy can't do it because the regent won't let him. This is no time for petty quarrels. You are weakening Lopnor's defenses. Limited to 50 instead of minus 99. So there you have it. They can occupy all they want, but they need to win several battles to, in order for them to win. While we need to beat the hell out of them until there are no more. Where are they? I know they've taken some attrition losses, but what about down in India? They're winning in India. That can't be good if they win the Indian War, then that means these guys are going to attack us on our soft underbelly in the Indus Valley region and the uh, Punjab region. That's our underbelly of the Empire. I say that because that's what I think, in my opinion. Move up a little. I guess those in defenses that we invested in order to slow them down have paid off. There's good defenses in Lolan. Karakoja, not so much. Karakoja would be easily brought down. Yep, Karakoja. Oh my. Uh, Sean shot Jem Shit has ascended to heaven at age 63. He died of severe stress. Known as an inverted drunkard, Jem Shit hardly ever spent a single day without drenching himself in liquor, barely aware of his surroundings. Jem Shit will surely pay his sins in the afterlife. Now, oh, hey. Let me tell you about Jemshid, all right? Real quick before we continue on with this conflict. Jemshid may undisputedly be the greatest non-martial educated ruler we've ever had. He brought the second golden age to, to the Persian Empire. And man, oh man, did he ever. I mean, sure, he loved drinking and everything, but that man has went through two wars with China, and unfortunately, on the day, two of the Nestorian Christians in this realm, and this one, the Net Catholic, on Christmas Eve, James Shid has passed. But now, Shan Shah Karush, blessed with awesome knowledge of all things between heaven and earth, his rule sure to be legendary, long live Shan Shah Karush. Can he be Karush the Great? Well, he's a fat mystic, but possessed, all because the teachings of Plato tell them so. But now he's taken up the helm and inherited this 
what could be his finest hour. Honor the dead. The great Shan Shah Jamshid of the Persian Empire is dead. Maybe he's in the company of Ahura Mazda, or maybe the company of Angra Mainu, but here on this line I must decide on how to honor him. And takes thanks to the Parthenon, I have the ability to properly honor him death. So, we've decided to put him in Athens, the area that the Achaemenid Empire once conquered, and now we're going to put him there. But, I will commit him to, to earth in a ceremony that shall be remembered. Everybody loved him, so therefore, this will work. Commit him in a ceremony that shall be remembered. The enemy army is coming. He must have heard of the new ruler and thinks, oh, he'll surrender. I say no! So they'll be here on the 25th of January. Oh no, wait a minute, check the commanders. Oh shoot, we lost one of the good ones. Oh yeah, you'll definitely do on the defense level. We got too many organizers. Which is good for if we are on the retreating side of things, but... Damn. Damn. I know where I can get some commanders. Uh, let me see. He's one of the good ones. So is he. He could be pointed, so give me, um, five. Give me five of your best. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, let's see. Siege leader. Duelist. He'll do. Nanai. Blanca. Devadasa. Shrewd-minded strategist, but stubborn. Hazarasp, the one-eyed organizer with inspiring. Kun, or, or Kun, uh, how do you say his name? Heavy infantry leader, oh yeah. That's what made difference maker. Alright. Because we don't need that many organizers. All we need is one. And he happens to do both. Yeah, we're just largely... Sogdi in command. And I think we lost our Takarian Holy Warrior too. Well, we got some highly martial skilled commanders, but no um, leadership traits. Need him here. We've got too many aggressive leaders. Devadas too. Oh. It's a mixed bag, but my master skill is pretty good, and I no longer have chest pains. At least I'm not obese. Well, this could be my chance to, you know, prove myself. Gotta go on a war focus so I can pick up leadership traits um, during the course of the war. Okay, so. It's a tactical leader, so you'll be here. And you'll be inspiring. As for the cavalry, I will be in the center. And so is, um, Estkin. That doesn't sound like a Persian name, is it? No, Sogdian. There were always Sogdians. Sogdians running Persia. Where's the dog? The supply will help us out. While the, the ones in reserve will be back there. Wait a minute, did I get these right? No, 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 no. Get him here. 
Where is the most heavy of two? It's even, so he should be here. The inspiring one will be back here to move reinforcements fast if things get really violent around here, which they will. It's winter right now. Come on up, there's room. And there'll be more reinforcements coming. No sign of this. Oh, there's one. In retreat, thanks to the Indians. But the question is where's their protector general? Kumtag. Going to Lolan. How many? That's going to be a normal one. Nearly 10,000. I don't know if we should send you all to Lolan, knowing that you will face the Protector General. But his movement is not locked yet. Is locked. No. Three days. Let's not get greedy here. But as for that army, not yet locked. So just wait a moment. It was a great feast in the honor of Shah and Shah Jamshid of the Persian Empire and the gods. Um, whose gods, to be exact? His body now rests in peace and fortune. Everybody remember how I honored him. Praise the gods. As I said before, who's gods? Oh, real quick, before the battle begins. Exhume the body. We're gonna do this the appropriate way. Oh my god. I've never done this before. He shall not be eaten by birds, but by the... Oh, go, go, go. <laughs> because I'm possessed. It'll be a difficult journey across the desert. Greatly risking my life. Those with health concerns would likely perish. Yep. I was always rivals with Jemshid. Thinking, he uh, thinking in his deathbed, he was thinking he was like, oh, no, the stress got to him while he was in front of him. He wasn't anywhere near his deathbed. He would probably be thinking, it's like, oh boy, I'm sure I'll get the golden tomb. Put me next to, uh, um, uh, De Devashta? And who was the other one? Chat! Yes. Nope! <laughs> That's what Karuz would think of it. And it would be contradictory if he was called the Holy, despite being possessed. So. Oh, yes, the council. I forgot about the council. We need to. Uh, We don't need Tal, because he's siege leader. There's no time for sieges. Okay, they're both going to Karakoja, which no doubt they will assault that area. Anyway, uh, get back to my post. How dare you? How many rivals do I have, by the way? Two. 25th, remember that. I mean, movement's already locked at this point, so... This could get ugly, because of our inexperienced commander, so we'll be sending more to the reserve. But the Protector General has gone. Where did he transfer himself to? Nagom. Move up here. We got a long way to go. 
And we're gonna take the brunt of it. If our losses get more severe, move the retinue in. It's fine, don't need more competition. The days have been agonizingly warm in the middle of January. My water's almost run out. The body's already started to decompose and can be smelled from quite a distance. Yet, I haven't reached a place where the death worm is rumored to exist. Others in my party beg me to go back. Listen. We exhumed the body from Ath all the way from Athens. It took by boat, by horse, by camel, whatever. And it started to decompose here in the Gobi Desert, which is up here. Uh, I'm willing to gamble on it, so I'd say, Nonsense! We must continue! We didn't die of dehydration and whatnot. And the battle's already begun. But oh, there'll be more reinforcements coming. That's why we need a third. Who's there, man? A fat man. There, he switched. Oh, dear. Ah, he lasts, lasts, lasts the longest. Finally, that gorging desert rat. Sha uh, Jump Shed left this fighter. What do you think would be better without him? I have a lot of extra time in my hands now. Now, why would I do that to my sister wife? Okay. Or the ones that are, you know, raising her. Uh, yes, I'm the one raising her. I would just say, look, it's your fault that you decided to, to have children this late in in a time. So we're rivals now. Finally reaching the area where the Ogoi Kogois are supposedly found. I feel satisfied with my achievement. I see no sign of the worm, but I'm sure that it lurkers beneath the sands. I place the body on the ground, or what's left of it, to be sacrificed by the mighty creature. A worthy burial. Now time to get back home. And I made it home. There was a 40% chance of death, but I don't know if these soldiers of ours are going to make it home because we're taking more casualties than they are. Hurry up. Home at last. It was a difficult journey, but I made it home safely. Most of my party perished in the desert, and it seems that I were alone able to complete the journey without severely straining my health. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I'm brawny now. Health. Move, move. We're getting killed out here. Defenses failed. Reinforcements are arriving. We're here. But it's not enough, but there'll be more coming. Just hold on for a few more weeks. They're going to be sending more. While we're marching through the desert, one of my officers uh, mothers, once I'm back in summer camp, I'm giving up the soldiering life, and maybe I'll be a baker. I chuckle concerning my own first. What about you, my lord? What will you focus on the future? Oh, I'm a zealous man. I want to carry out the will of Ahura Mazda. Just because they think I'm possessed by Ariman? No, 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 no. They don't understand me. They think... Uh, Let's just say I'm a misunderstood individual. I want to carry out the will of a Hurra Mazda. I'm a holy warrior now. Now we're definitely retreating. 
Reinforcements arrived again. Now time to use my holy warrior skills to use. There he is. There's that fat commander I was talking about earlier. Yep, the battle of big fat men. Why aren't you begging for mercy, you son of a... Unacceptable. Unacceptable casualties. But we still have low morale. Oh, and by the way, it did not break away from the Empire, so that's good. So trap is all yours. Come on, more this way. Get the troops moving, Haraza. Go on, get moving. Bloody Lapnor again. And we got our beleaguered army. Where's that protector general of yours? At least they took a river crossing, but there'll be more coming. We'll definitely have more reinforcements by then. Remember, the only way to win this war is to capture the protect general or kill off their entire invasion force. Well, they're not invading. We're the invaders, so they may reinforce. It could last for a long time. Definitely finish it by then. I gotta start making my more money again. Captured one of theirs. Slow down a bit. They'll be there at a slightly later time. Because we need to have him get these arms moving fast now. There he is. Let's put up. Under here, and another two over there. Many more coming this way. Two armies heading to Lapnor. May have a third one in our hands soon. This is not a good place to be, but. We must win here. You know what, move in. You're gonna be relief, because we need to get these, um, this nearly broken army out of here. Not to mention our retinues need to start Reinforcing. Hey, you're doing nothing. Come on and help us. Even if it's small contributions. It will definitely do for a time. 40% war score. But we won't get capped up this much. No. It will be stuck to plus 50 for us. If this keeps up. Alright, which ones are... Here's our retinue. Go on. Get. 
That's our other retinue. You're out of here too. Just get these horses out of here. You're gonna be relief. Once the movement sock, then move back. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. Just shaking my head. Still shaking my head. Alright, moment sock. Time for you to withdraw, all of you. You will all take up their space now. Adavan and Kroon. Okay. Adavan and uh, Kroon. We'll start looking for armies to hunt down. Tolls is finished over there in Athens, but don't spend any more on that. Focus the money on this conflict. Find a capture the protective general. Looks like we may have our chance. He's coming this way. Now just merge in. There's me, there's you. This is desert, right? Yeah. Oh, you're better at this. Why aren't you here? Even though you're a heavy infantry man as well, but... Eh. You'll take that place. But I'm a holy warrior, so our small numbers can definitely beat theirs. Not to mention, fighting against the desert is purely good for cavalry. If it gets out of hand, send the one eye to move in. More reserves will be coming. Did they wrap up their Indian War? No. But... Move, seeing a move this way is concerning. I mean, yes, we've killed a lot of theirs, but there's still a lot more. And we won't reinforce as much as we used to. If only we had camel cavalry with us. But there's Inspector General. We better capture him. This is our chance. Thank goodness that I'm zealous. Well, now I am proclaimed the, the Shah, Shah of Kanam Bono as well. Salam. You get that. Shad Shar, Persia, Tibet, Turan, Kanambunu. Oh, here we go. Another one, two. And they're coming to uh, Lolan. Fully disfigured army. Barely enough room. Capture him. No, we did not. 
can't escape. We have to take it. As in, we're gonna take the brunt of it. Two armies heading to uh, Lolan. So, you may want to move in. Two days' time. Alright, this force is going to Lolan. You head over Lapnor. If their movement is on. No, they haven't yet. In this case, as a last. Lost one of ours. Shit. At least we have our organizer. He's the one that can get the cavalry moving, but we can't escape out of it now. Can't chicken out of it now. No, no, no. Move it's not locked, you fool. Now go. Another army heading to Lopnor. Who's that? We can afford a major loss, but um, I can't allow myself to be captured. Oh, yeah, she was Kurdish, now she is properly soaked in. As the trick. And a part of that statue is finished over in Bosnia. So, yeah. Too bad, Jump Shit. Never lived long to see this. No time to be investing in that. Past is the past. Focus on the here and now. He's there, he's one of their sub-commanders. My center is breaking. Getting overwhelmed. Reinforcers will be coming. Where? I've already... That's in Europe. Oh dear, it started in Sardinia. Oh dear, oh dear. Whatever you do, don't get me captured. Read for severe two days, hold the line. Well, everything is holding in Lafnur. One more going to Lolan. He got away again. And you're all doing well on your end. Well, for supply reasons. As we have committed our troops to be heading this way. As they will be getting to their appropriate positions. More reserves. One to the north. And another just at Kotan. Which, uh, which they will be the ones to eventually begin the uh, liberation of the Tibetan holdings. Yeah, this is our retinue, just beaten badly. So I'll just get back a little.
forgot about that. Back to me. Oh, sorry about that. I like how I impregnated my rival. Spider issues together. Oh, they'll do better on mounds. That does no good to the cavalry. Just sit there and wait. Oh, meanwhile, another army's coming up to Lolan. There's no commanders. Problem is, they're all assigned. Well, that man we're looking for is still out there. At least this has good invested in defense. Well, we did say we're going to send them that way, and that's where they're going to be going. So don't be concerned about that area yet. Just stay there and reinforce in case if we need to go back and save them. Huntress. Oh, he's one of their best. We really gotta be there. Too late. Not too late. Gripped by religious fervor. Oh, we got more, and the morale's already low. He's back there. Send a spy master over. Need to keep track of their movements. Supply limit is so damn low because of the winter. We could just never fight right in a meaningful terms. <sighs> oh, really? Uh, one of the uh, Zandans of the Immortals have noticed my situation and task consists of me. They sent some brave men to assist me in my fight against infidels. Increasing the reinforcement rate in all counties relating to um, the satrapy of Samarkand. That's good. At least that'll help us reinforce a little. Even the odds a little. Oh, we got their attention. Sure, he'll rethink of this. Yep, he rethink that well, in the last second. But too bad he owns the mountains. All right, scram! And this beaten army, you're going up the Karakoja. Just start liberating these areas. So many of them. Hundred thousands more. And we're taking just as bad as casualties because of our... That's plus one diplomacy. Why did you hire a core physician? Get one. And I'm not in the mood to drink a fountain of youth at this given time of the circumstances. Now we are well placed. And more reinforcements will be coming. I'm 
Ciao. Incoming. Tech the general's coming again. Right, as they're on their way to kick the tail of these raiders out of here, and then we'll fight against the mountains for them. Okay, once their movement's locked, get this army and car culture and Lopnor moving. They will take their place. There are many legends about this great man whose blood I share. A particular story is a circuit and a court lady. It focuses on an epic feat where artist share proves his strength for character. The more I hear, the more I wish to emulate him. I shall strive to be more like him. Now I'm brave. That increases the morale defense. It's excellent. Abandon this siege. Take the place. Move up a little. Oh boy, this is all we have. Meet up with Kotan. Oh boy. This is nerve wracking. Like, uh, this is basically war of attrition at this point. How long can they last? We're not sending our retinue up just yet. Committing our reinforcements to that. If you are the one that's captured him, I am going to give you so much reward if you manage to capture the Protector General. No. What the heck are you so long dealing with these guys? Inbred. That ain't good. I ought to kill that boy if I ever had a chance. I would not do with an inbred. But focus on that later. Uh -huh. Right, since they're going this way, we're thinking about advancing towards Kumtag a little. They're going to be committing all of their forces to this region now. As we head over there, you move in. We'll make advancement plans soon. Like this place. Just give them the money. Shenu the Quarreler. A hedonist battlefield terrain master ends Very high martial skill. Guess we found our man. I mean, we did lost a few commanders. So I know who to replace. Ones who never even had a chance to get their traits. So, Shenu Yurin. Lopnor's about to be under attack again. Get him in. And 
Bring the net too. And Audubon. If they take more casualties, there's the reserves. Wait, ready and waiting. No commanders in there, army. Begin to see just we're still considered on the defense, just making little minor offenses. You want the best? Here he is. Cows teas look even. Breaking. Good. Azoras. With one flank breaks, then everything breaks. He's holding on, this Chanu. Years of careful strategic planning, repeated tactical brilliance, and a measure of luck makes believer of soul. We managed to whittle down the enemy armies. I'm almost beginning to dream of victory when my generals inform me that the Chinese emperors dispatched more forces to the west. What does it take to bring this bring down this beast? The Imperial Chinese fleet has arrived with troops in the Indian Ocean near the province of Samatata. That's down there. Right. Do I even need to look how many there are? We can use this. Oh my goodness, that many? Oh dear, oh dear. We're in for a long one. Reinforcements have arrived. There, now we're breaking them. Yeah, their northern armies are beginning to break. Fence up, form a line. No, 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 hold. Coming again. Oh, not. Yes, no, yes, yes, they are. They're not backing down. Two armies heading to Lop North. Movement locked. You got backup, don't worry. Move up. Over there and cut down. We'll be on standby for offensive towards that. They probably got good commanders, so we're sending it to them now. Azaras. 
Get him moving fast. They should reinforce in the retinue fast. Didn't know they hired mercenaries, which I doubt they have the funds to maintain for that in a long run. They're moving up through Assam, so they're going through the pass and they're probably following the path like that. Yeah, exactly. This is going to take a long time for this. here. Don't stay here. I know winters are brutal. That's how we take most casualties and we get reinforced this way as well. But we don't want to make any false moves. So they're gathering around and they're going to be ready for the next part of the offense. Well, thank you. Well, I guess I am the holy after all. I mean, I am a zealous man. That's why I'm a holy warrior. But still, I gotta get rid of that inbred boy. The easiest thing in the world would be just imprison, execute, and then I become Kinslayer. But I don't think anybody would bat an eye on it because, um, well, reasons. And the only ones who would probably dislike it for it would be the Nestorians and the Buddhists at the most. Especially because of the fact that I'm zealous. Counter too late for that. We can raise more troops if we wanted to, if we continue to take casualties like this. And we reinforce a lot slower. It's kind of too bad we only have one tributary state to help us out on the reinforcement rate. Especially that we got some assistance from the Immortals. not speak of this. I would not want to question the authority of the Almighty. I'm a holy warrior, damn it. Head to Don Huang. Yeah, they really took all of that. It takes a while. That is relatively safe. Move up. You head to there. Well, we're moving places. They still siege down all the other parts of Tibet. 
Hunt these guys down. I don't know why they're not reinforcing this way. Shadam of Gujarat. Why would I want that? Well, in this case, um. You head over there to Dang Huang. You move up there. So yeah, we're starting to make a, an offensive move, but we've got to get down there and deal with them soon. You'll do. That book. Based on that amount of money we're making, it seems hiring mercenaries wouldn't hurt. Preferably cavalry oriented mercenaries. Just to alleviate the. Well, we're slowly getting our levy size back as far as reinforcement rate is concerned. Where are they going? If they've gone a long way, we're screwed. Whatever it is, I don't like it. Not one bit. And sending a retinue down there would be suicide. Just to go capture the protective general. And yet he keeps losing prestige because we keep beating him in battles. Either that or... Um, no, the Chinese are only war is with us. Nope. They're still fighting a tributary state. I don't know why Shura and the other one gave up fighting them. Which is a shame. I'm sure they're coming this way soon. Because there's not a lot of... Well, to be fair, they're all moving. Out of some. I think they're going to take care of the Tamu business down there. Which may work for us. Because it seems they're moving all their manpower down to India. Where's our... Um, now, he's our best organizer. Because I'm thinking, alright, let's go down and hunt for the Protector General. As long as he's not transferred down to India. I mean, he's going north. so He's staying there. The other army. The, those are the, the remnants of the northern armies. Go, hunt. Hunt him down. Basically luring them over there, because we're catching, because we're getting their attention. Go the long way. Yeah, we'll take care of the Northern Army Remnant, and then the ones down south are going down to India. They don't seem to be coming back. Shoot, he transferred. I saw that in the last second, but deal with him. We'll take losses, but at least this is planes.
moving. One's going this way, and the other will be heading to there. I'm gonna be slowly committing to this front now. Yeah, we own the north now. Need two more. One to here. One to this way, even though the big old retinue is in the way. Actually, this is a much better place. They will um, liberate the rest. Oh. You'll be on standby. If we could try to liberate all these territories, the war score will go up. And we'd be in a much better position in winning it. Because they all went to India now. To deal with the Tamils, which they'll make short work of it. They're not here to take of our Indian holdings. Protector General's moved over here. I'm sure he's going to be walking right into it. Hurry up and take care of this man. He transferred again. How far are you willing to go? Okay, fully liberated. Start taking this area. You lot. Time to you. Matter of fact, for any additional reinforcements that has not been raised by the levies, Kotan is the place to be. Where the hell are they going? We're gonna keep chasing them down to the end of the earth. Oh, they take care of the Tamils. Oh yeah, now they're fully committed. All 94,000 of them, they're coming. Sure they're angry as heck. They'll be coming in waves, so it's not wise to stay here any longer. And I down here in Kamrup so that we can get a clue of what's going on down there. Not high enough for martial skill. How far is he going to retreat? For now, I'll just keep chasing all the way down to uh, Brahmaputra. Or the Ganga. Do not cross beyond there because there'll be Chinese armies waiting for us. Just 
up. There's got to be more. I know it. There's more over there, isn't there? Well, we don't know that. I mean, we can take on 16,000 of them. This is Plains area. Even though we never thought we'd be fighting this far into northeastern India in Assam. Slowly but surely we'll be liberating all of these. And it's a lot that we have to unoccupy. Which ones are the ones that give us the big war score? Come on, yeah. There's ten here. Another ten in uh Kondo. 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 Oh down there. We're sending one army there now. Yeah, all that in the little holdings. Yeah, they'll be here on the 19th. This is tempting, but... You're desert expert, you're no good to us. But uh, give me the very best. And yes, that includes our cavalryman, but I don't know about that because uh, well, skills similar. But who's the better fighter of you two? He's not a fighter, but the Shah of Persia is. Well, I mean, he's, but he's too. He's a too do do gooder. And he's but he has a weapon and armor. I could see. Look at him in. He's a cavalryman. I sure don't know what to do when fighting in the plains. Now I'll just fight one battle here, then get out of here. May I have to move you this way too, in order to intercept them? You don't even know who else is down there. Stupid idea, but another way to see the map a bit. Nothing down there. Still retreating, but we're going to be fighting them now. Matter of fact, I think he's retreating all the way down to South India. It's ouch time. We don't see anyone else down there. They're active again. Is that fool coming here? Yes, he is. Walking into a trap. Battle is just now over. But yep, he's coming here. This is our chance to capture him. If not, then we've got to withdraw. We can't stay here forever. Killed off his entire force. There's still a lot more down there. And now the Tamils are with them. They went to the Indus, but they're not sieging down there, so they're going to be heading for Tibet. Now we know where they are. We're tracking them. That's a Lhasa. This is well supplied, so let's meet up in Lhasa. <sighs> Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I think we may have a, a part two of this conflict for the uh, next episode, based on the way this is dragging on. Well, one thing's for certain, what we'll have in the next episode is the uh, 
conclusion of this conflict and uh, all the more. But I can tell you this, um, well, it depends on the well-being of my claimant. Oh, he's stressed. If you, eh, I think he may last a little. Come on up here. Oh, damn. Uh, if he dies, all this uh, fighting was for nothing. The only thing we can do now is let him come. At least none of them head to Samarkand or other parts of the uh, Persian Empire, at least as far as we are concerned. More ships. While we will continue to liberate the areas in and around Hot uh, Tibet. I mean, the more we you know, get it less occupied and everything, hopefully it'll help up with the war score. Yeah, it'll definitely help out. They're not going to stop in in the Indus, nor the where the Ganji starts. No, they're going to keep going until they reach Tibet and and all that. So basically, they're going to be hunting for us while we continue to liberate. They're just going to their appropriate pathways to Lord knows where. Oh, not like that. I mean, we know where they are now. Cut that out. At least we're reinforcing slowly but surely. I gotta get rid of my inbred son, because if I die and he rules the empire, the empire is screwed. Not militarily, but in a more civic way. She's the rightful heir, not my inbred boy. orders. Go to here. You're going there. And you're going there. Continue to liberate these areas. Which hopefully it'll make a difference in the occupation score. If we liberate all of these areas then we may win the war 100% by winning all the battles while we unoccupy everything. And eventually capture the protector general. So we'll stop right here. Part 2 will be coming for this uh, conflict. And I would say that this uh, next video uh, will likely be the final episode of the Sogdian Saga. The conclusion is coming. As well as the conclusion of this very bloody war. In which we took significant losses. And so have they. But we've won all the battles. While they still have a lot of numbers, while, while we could still keep on going. 
we may have lost a lot of our domain troops, but our vassals and retinues, well, they're still, well, they're still ready and waiting. But if we need reinforcements, it's likely that in the next episode we may have to go get a mercenary band and get them to the Tibetan front. Oh, just one holding? Oh. As you are. Anyways. So we hope you come to the next episode. And finally, the conclusion of the Sogdian Saga is coming. But that's only if, and that's a big if. That my claimant to the uh, Dragon Throne lives. So we hope to see you in the next one. Until then, so long for now, and may Ormaz be with you.